sexuality is probably the main theme in my work and has been for a, a long time. People tend to think that if you're making art about sex that it's related to pornography possibly. Or it's in a way not a spiritual activity that you're interested in the physical and not in the way that sex embodies spirituality. To make love in a church would seem to be a strange thing to do. For me it wouldn't. For me it would be, you know, um, it would be an obvious <laughs> place because it's a sacred setting. My name is Melinda Cameron Porter. I live in Manhattan and I'm originally from London. I spent three years at Oxford University where I studied modern languages. And then I moved immediately to Paris where I was very lucky to become a, a cultural critic writing for the London Times. And during that time, as I was being a journalist, I was painting writing and doing my apprenticeship as an artist. The Luminous Body series is dedicated to the man I fell in love with in Paris when I was 20. He initiated me into the erotic world of bliss and of spiritual love. When he died, I started the series of 350 watercolors. I felt his presence so strongly, saying to me, help me, I need your help to go on this journey. I wanted to tell that journey the journey of what our souls had done when we were in Paris and the journey of what our souls did when he died. I decided to note down in diary form whatever came into my mind during this journey. Sometimes it would be a remembrance of making love with him. Sometimes it would be a remembrance of him leaving me or the times when I went off out of fear with someone else. I really did feel that whilst he needed me to accompany him on this journey, I needed him actually more than I had ever needed him in, in when I knew him. It was very strange. I think that after the Luminous Bodies I got kind of burnt out and um, it was a very kind of intense and painful, in a way, experience, even though it was luminous in many ways. And somehow nature came along and took me in her hands and gave me what I needed. Barcelona Point is part of uh, what's, I suppose, called the Hamptons that some people might find familiar as a uh, holiday resort. And when I'm out there, I just am able to think and contemplate. I'm really healed and nourished by nature. Just to be able, in a painting, to communicate what that rock feels like if you, if you touch it, or how rough it is, or how smooth it is or how heavy it is. I mean, if you actually start feeling everything, it's, it's kind of impossible. <laughs> There's just too much to paint. The series of oils called Barcelona Point expresses that joy and delight that I have with nature now. I am exploring the notion of being taken, being in a kind of erotic unison with nature.
For me, just making paintings that look nice or just making paintings that sell doesn't really interest me. I'm very interested in creating work that creates a world view and that can offer the spectator something really to get their teeth into. I want my art to be much more alive and I don't mind if it's disturbing and if people say, oh, I don't like that, or how come she's so obsessed by the erotic. But for me, the erotic is one of the central states of being and um, states of awareness that we have access to as people. So I would like my paintings to remind people of what they have within themselves. That would be enough for me.